think so. Okay, so we talked about your dream solution of your arm working just the same as it used to, or just the same as the other one. And so let's talk about what you plan to do to get there. Okay, um, I plan on like consistently doing my exercises. That that I think that will be a big help. Mm -hmm. And taking magnesium one or two times a day. I think I should add more to my vision board. Mm -hmm. Some like healthy stuff. Oh yeah, that's good. So I when I do that, I I'll keep looking at my vision board to like inspire me or what that is. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. And so, what have you already tried? Um, I've tried magnesium, and that didn't really do a lot. But I did brain balance. That did. How am I not remembering? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Acupuncture and chiropractor. The chiropractor is nothing. Nothing. Um, the, the acupuncture made it worse. So how can I help you? By keeping me like on track, my exercises, and making sure that I take magnesium and Motrin if I'm in pain. I don't know. Being there for me? Definitely do that. And I think the other thing that we can do during this um, video series is we can, the body transformation that I'm going through, I'm gonna, um, I'm also writing a book about this whole process of using your language to shape your life. Like to I have to write a book? No, I'm doing it. Oh. To create a different reality. And so I think it would be really cool if we could also support each other in using language to help it along, to help um, the healing along. So like for instance, if, like, like when you, Notice that your arm was doing really well today, like really talking about that a lot. And oh, I'm so glad my arm is getting better. And I really do think the brain balance is helping. All of that is so different from, you know, what what's a person could do and the person could go, well, my arm's better today, but it'll probably freeze up again later. You know what I mean? So the difference between those two things is in the first case, you're actually using language to tell the story that you want to be telling about how you want things to, to go in the future. And in the second case, you're kind of falling back on the same old fear and negativity. And so we're supporting each other in um, really using language. That's why the name of the second book is Body Language. So we're supporting each other in really using language to impact how our body heals itself. Because our body and our brain are so interconnected that if we get the brain to start to to, if we tell the brain that the body is healing, then the brain will tell the body to heal. Does that make sense? Give us some examples of what success would look like for you. I'd be able to walk out in public without having to feel insecure or feel like people are looking at my arm in like a weird and uncomfortable way. And I want to just be able to do my normal daily routine without having to be in pain. I like to, um, like sometimes when I'm doing my music leads, I get like, it's like, it, my arm's like bent, so it's like too close, mm. but I try to like, because I can't do it on this arm, or it's just like really bad, but I try to like push it out, but then I remember that I can't, mm. so I would like to just be able to do my normal music leads. Great. What do you think might stand in your way? I think, like, if I have doubts about it, then... That will like really take it downhill. Mm -hmm. And if people like keep bumping into it, and I feel like <laughs> it's just gonna keep like getting stuck. My laziness is really gonna get in the way of it. Because if I like don't wanna do my exercises or don't wanna do magnesium, then it's just it's just not gonna help. So I really need to work on that. But, okay, yeah. good, good. And you've been doing really, like when I do remind you and you do finally go do it, then you're like right there with it. Yeah. What do you think might help you get there faster? Doing my exercises, being more positive about it, and being excited for the future, not saying that there is no future. No? Yes. Yeah. And eventually, maybe, we can incorporate a nutrition component that might help you get there faster. <laughs> But I don't, I like gluten. <laughs> All right. Well, clearly you're not ready for that. So. <laughs> <laughs>
we'll, we'll put that on pause for now. <laughs> All right. Well, that's really good. So that's week one. And what we'll do is we'll come back next week and we'll check in and we'll let you know how we're doing, how I'm doing with my weight loss and how Amelia's doing with her arm. And um, yeah, and hopefully you guys will be able to witness the miraculous transformation in our journey to health. And hopefully we can inspire you guys to use your language to create better health for yourselves too. So. I, my journey and my whole thing is MomStar, which is www.momstar.me. And of course, you all know where to find <laughs> beautiful Amelia. And um, so I'm so grateful to be on this journey with you and to have you for my daughter. <laughs> Yay, this is going to be exciting. Thank you guys for watching. Go down there and like that, or press that like button, and comment down below anything and I will see the comments and subscribe to my channel if you have not already and tell your friends yes yes share this with <laughs> and your tell friends. your moms too because this is for moms too not yeah. just for kids <laughs> okay bye bye